Hey YouTube, how you all doing? Just want to give you a quick tour of uh, my travel trailer, a Jayco 212 QBW, and the uh, solar power system that I installed in it. This travel trailer actually has two battery banks, right? One up front, the one that came with the travel trailer, just the uh, regular lead acid. And it's actually being charged by uh, one solar panel, 100 watts. The other side of the battery bank is actually inside the uh, travel trailer, underneath the bench. And it's being charged by uh, four quantity of uh, 100 watt solar panel, a total of 400. And I'll climb up there and show it to you. But I do have a total of 500 watts solar panel on this roof, uh, on the roof of this travel trailer and I'm thinking of adding one more 100 watt solar panel uh, for a total of 600 watts. And the battery bank inside the travel trailer is 210 and of course usable, let's just say 100. And this thing right here, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the battery bank, the lead acid is 180 and of course usable half of that, right? But you really don't wanna go tap in below 52%, but just rounding it, so if anything, you know, to be safe, never discharge your battery or depth of discharge below 60%. Hang tight, I'll give you a tour. Check it out. 500 watts total. 400 is actually going into my AGM battery bank inside the cabin. And one panel is dedicated to the uh, lead acid battery in front of this travel trailer and uh, if I need to if you will ramp it up give it a little bit of oomph in terms of charging either the uh, lead acid up front I could easily disconnect some wires right here and get them connected to the uh, other so in other words I could you know if you will shift things around rewire it rather quickly those are quick disconnects Right, so I could easily feed 200 watts, 300 watts uh, to the battery bank up front or make it all 500 watts going into the AGM battery bank inside uh, the cabin or travel train. I'm actually debating of putting one more solar panel right here so I'll have a total of uh, 600 watts, right? And uh, yeah, and you know, the solar panels are actually inexpensive what a hundred dollars right i think that's the cheapest part of the investment so focus more on the batteries battery bank and also your um, uh, ats automatic transfer transfer switch and also your uh, pure sign inverter yeah i think i'm gonna get one more for a total of 600. the agm battery bank is underneath this bench it's just actually a storage and here it is. Look at that. Full. There you go. Yeah, let's get this. I'm gonna open this up for you. Here it is. Take a look. You guys seen this setup before? There's my uh, MPPT uh, charge controller, right? My battery bank total of uh, 210 amp hours and of course usable is half here's my 3000 watts uh, pure sign inverter right and it actually energizes the entire um, rig uh, that pure sign inverter has a high output and uh, let me power it on and uh, that high output all right we got illumination that's the uh, high output. And uh, this set of wires right here goes to my uh, automatic transfer switch that goes in here. And, and of course, it's back here. Make sure you watch that video on how to install it. But it's back there. And when I turn this on, it actually powers the entire rig, right? That's pretty much it. So don't forget, I got 500 watts solar panel on the roof. 100 uh, watts is dedicated to the front uh, battery bank. The 400 watts is dedicated to this uh, 210 amp hours AGM battery bank. Uh, and it's connected to a 3000 watts, 3500 uh, peak, um, pure sign inverter. And that pure sign inverter has a high output 
that goes into my automatic transfer switch that powers enables me to power the entire rig all of the outlets and so on. I forgot to show you also have a uh, PWM uh, charge controller dedicated to the uh, front battery bank and it's underneath here right this is the um, the battery monitor connected to my MPPT controller it's actually managing the 400 watts uh, solar panels on the roof and in terms of the uh, single you know 100 watts but again as I mentioned I could easily rewire that to 200 uh, you do not need to um, have a high power MPPT controller especially if you just have a hundred watts but this one right here is actually uh, controlling the 100 watts uh, solar panel on the roof so it's capable of more I think this is a uh, 20 amps so yeah this is the controller for that yeah 13.1 it's currently a hundred percent fully charged that box that I'm trying to uh, make uh, it will hold the on and off switch of the pure sign inverter and of course the uh, Eiley or Ailey battery monitor it's already working I just unplugged it but um, yeah this is the panel or the box that um, I need to uh, modify and uh, put it right above the battery monitor of the uh, MPPT controller so yeah well that was it Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now.